That's my dude. <laughs> Real, you know what I'm saying? Big ups to an icon, a real legend. You know what I'm saying? We represent for Miss Inez. Tomorrow all be even better. Balloon release tonight. It's going down. Block party tomorrow. Right Say that, Sabrina. Say that. And I'm with my dog. And I'm with, I'm with my dog, Persia, baby. Wherever she ride, I'm going to ride with her for Miss Inez. Baby, we doing this thing out here today. That's what I'm talking about. Doing this all the way from Miss Out Nails, baby. I'm the daughter of Inez Eddington Thomas, and we're here celebrating her legacy. As you can see, we have a number of people that's here that are that she's touched. Her memory has touched. She's touched them because of who she is. What she's done is uh, she's actually opened up her cafe at one point in time to those that were in need, and she fed those. She loved the high school basketball teams the Braves, the girls and the men, the girls and the boys, and she was in the stands with uh, one of her best friends. Another item that uh, some may not know is that she also opened up her restaurant on Thanksgiving Day for those that were in need of a meal and was possibly celebrating without their actual family. Uh, what she meant to me, a strong pillar, an icon, and she took no mess from anyone, including me. And there are many here that can tell you that even though she was not their parent, she was not their grandparent, she was not a relative. However, she treated them as if they were. They respected her beyond any shadow of a doubt, and you did not mess with Miss Inez. Uh, what else was there? Mm, lifelong friend, neighbor, and some of the stories that I've heard of recent that I was unaware of is how she took some people in and just helped them out. And that is one of the things that we need to do as a community, as a race, as a people, to help our fellow man. Even though someone may be down, never count them out. My mother did not count anyone out. She reached out to you, and you should reach out to someone else. Man, it's one thing she did say. She had an a interview uh, here about a couple of months ago. Uh, when asked in these tough times, to believe how strong she was. The young lady, Isabella, asked her, you know, uh, what does she like most about um, the community? And you gotta know Miss Inez, and this is the way it opens up. Say, baby, I'm a very important person, and I like helping people. Last thing she told me, me thinking I'm a little successful. Do something with your life. So no matter what you're doing, no matter how successful you are, you can be better. She did a commercial for the current mayor of Biloxi right now. And if anybody remember when he was campaigning, at the end of that campaign, it was a picture of my mother, Inez Eddington Thomas, said, I am Biloxi. She is Biloxi. Biloxi. Definitely. Special day. I like to recognize and, and to say uh, I'm, I'm happy to recognize the lady we call Miss Inez. Yeah. Yeah.
and it's just a blessing to be here with all of the love that's being shown for her because she was a pillar of this community. And I just thank God for everyone that turned out and turning up for her. And uh, God bless all of you. And I always like to say, much love. And I'm saying, I love you in Miss Inez's voice. And don't you ever forget it. God bless.